so this is Heather from HeartfullyHeather.com and I'm so excited because we finally sold our gas dryer. Um, we It's been sitting in our garage since we moved here and everywhere, all of Northern Colorado just uses uh, electric dryers. So we weren't sure we were gonna even be able to sell it. Um, but because we were able to sell it, we now get the opportunity to start working on our guest room. So let's see if I can show you. I'll go show you our guest room. Um, uh, because we got $350 from selling the dryer, we now have some little extra money to paint the room and order the legs for our sleep number bed. So I was just upstairs where my little office nook is and we're gonna go down here down to the man cave. Here, I'll, I'll make it dramatic. Let's see if I can flip this camera around. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the man cave with special purple lighting. <laughs> so we're gonna walk down here because our guest room is down here. It's a little bit dark right now. I'll turn the lights on as we go. Um, yeah, totally dark. This is the kids' playroom, which is a bit messy right now because, well, they didn't clean up after themselves. But we'll go this way and turn the light on down to this hallway. This is our guest hallway bathroom. Right here. We're gonna be working on it soon. But here's our guest room with just all this stuff waiting to be put together. Like those are the um, supports, the slats for the base of the sleep number bed. And there's gonna be our memory foam topper and just the sleep number um, mattresses that we're gonna put on it. And I don't know where this TV's gonna go, it might go in here. Um, but anyway, I just, we can start working on it now, now that we have a little bit of extra play money. So first thing I'm gonna do is probably choose some paint colors in here and I have a few already picked out. I just uh, picked this up from Lowe's because Lowe's is like right across the street from us. And I just really like the bright and airy colors. Um, and for a basement guest room, I want to make it look bright and airy because you know, the rooms and basements can kind of be dark. So I'm really excited. Um, we did the first things today to um, get our guest room ready for guests. And we ordered the legs to the sleep number bed. And we finally chose at least one paint color for one wall. And this opal blue color, this one right here in the middle. And then I decided since we're just probably doing one wall in that room, this color, I decided to go with just a quart and see where that takes me. Um, hopefully that's all I need. I might need more, but since it's just one wall and not an entire room, um, I feel like that's okay. And I'm going to start clearing all this stuff out of the way and uh, taping, and hopefully tomorrow I'll start painting. And I can't wait. Photo Wall has decided to help sponsor our guest room makeover, and we're getting a giant wall mural of trees put on this wall right here and i cannot wait when that comes in it comes in friday and that means that we'll hopefully be able to get that put up next week or maybe this weekend and everything else together probably within a week or two so i'm gonna get started So one of my dilemmas is that I'm short, so I have to ask my husband for uh, help a lot of the times. And I was thinking, how am I gonna get the tape all the way up there? And I realized, hey, I have one of these really tall 32 inch bar stools. So now I can stand up there and tape the rest of this and I don't need to ask him for help. And that makes me really happy. 
So I am no stranger to painting. Um, back when we lived in Flagstaff, um, our first house that we bought in 2012, or 2000, yeah, 2012, um, I've probably painted every inch of that house because, uh, let's see, the color that it was originally painted was like vomit, like, like a, a salmon color. And too much salmon just kind of makes me sick. So I decided to paint um, every room. And unfortunately, back then, I painted those rooms really obnoxious colors, um, like bright peach, but it was like orange. Or my husband will laugh and say that I painted our uh, kitchen like neon green, but it's supposed to be like a leafy summer green. Anyway, the colors were obnoxious and I'm aiming to tone that down a bit here. So it's done and all the paint is dry and I'm gonna take the painter's tape off right now. Okay. Woo. I think the color is great and hopefully I did a good job. And I don't see any mistakes yet. But there are some spots where I could touch up. I see them right now. Um so yeah, I'll have to touch some spots up. Woo! <laughs>